Little Rock uh, women's head coach, uh, Steve Weedor, first season as the head coach after being uh, with the program for over 15 years. Um, coach, let's just start. General thoughts about this upcoming uh, basketball season. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity. Uh, you know, like you said, I've been here for 15 years in, in the assistant coach's role and now getting the opportunity to be the head coach and just excited about, you know, the, the team that we have and uh, the season, you know, the, the season coming up. I know it's more than just moving 15 inches on one direction of the bench, but can you elaborate on that? Like you, it's not like it's a total, you're not an outsider, but what is the difference between being the, the associate head coach and, and then the head coach? Oh, I mean, there, there's a lot of difference. I, I think Coach Foley, uh, he, he really gave me an opportunity to prepare for this. You know, in my last few years with him here, he gave me a lot more responsibilities and and dealing with things. So that that was that was really good. And, and so it wasn't just something that I uh, got through on me, you know, at the last minute. So it's it's been very helpful. But, you know, just – just making out daily practice schedules, dealing with the day-to-day -day things that, you know, the as an assistant, I didn't have to do, uh, you know, trying to trying to get everything into a, a day schedule, you know, going to luncheons, going to different things that that you have to do as 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 the head coach and 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 still take care of your responsibility of getting ready for practice and and you know, watching recruits tapes and things like that that you have to do every day how's it been with the, with the players and you know you get with the, the returning players you have just um with the change i guess it's been really really good i mean we we were really up front with our players the last couple of years uh during you know during the uh, uh the meetings and things that we had with them we, we told them that that coach foley was was contemplating retiring and this could happen at any time. And, and we won't coach, we wanted coach Foley to coach as long as, as he wanted to. I mean, he, he, he deserved that, but, but it was a possibility that it could happen anytime. So, you know, I think being up front with the players and letting them know the situation that, uh, that it could occur, that it, it wasn't a surprise to. Him. Well, you're just several months in, but so far, what's the best part of being the head coach? Oh, the best part, I, I would say, you know, getting to uh, uh, get to know these young ladies from from that chair and uh, letting them, you know, know sort of what I'm all about. And uh, I think one of the things that I've told them over and over is that, you know, I I can't be exactly like Coach Foley and, and definitely wouldn't try to do it. I mean, he's one of the greatest coaches ever, but, you know, I'm, I've got to do things my way and just you know, watching them respond to those type of things that I'm doing is, has been very enjoyable. Now, it's just October 17th, but as of today, what would you say the strength of this year's uh, Little Rock team is? Uh, you know, we've we built this program on, you know, our defense uh, and motion offense and just, you know, we're, we're going to continue to do that. I mean, I, I'm uh, – you know, I, I'm I'm big on you know you're going to win a championship if you're a defensive team. So I, I would still think our strength is is our ability to play on the defensive end. You've been around the program for a while. Does some years the defense come quicker than others? Like how does that work when you're trying to teach that, or is it maybe that's tradition that comes they catch that on before the offense? Yeah, I think our defense does come a little quicker, but you know we are definitely changing some things and trying to score more this year so we we're, we're throwing out there a lot more offensive stuff and offensive drills so you know our defense may not be to the par that we need it to be right now but but definitely uh you know that's something that that with our program it 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 comes first you have quite you have several returning players so talk about some of them and like what you what you're looking for them as the veterans on this year's team well, we do have seven returning players. Six of them played last year. One was a red shirt that, you know, she got to practice and, and go through practice all during the season. So that that really helps a lot. I mean, the first thing I'm expecting out of them is to be, uh, you know, to be good leaders for our team, helping the newcomers learn the different things that, uh, that uh, you know, that we're putting in front of them. And, you know, if you if you know anything about motion offense, it's an offense that definitely takes a lot of time, and it doesn't look very good. You know, up up 
you know, we, we say up until almost March and, and February before we start really seeing how our team can play with motion offense. So, so, you know, they, they understand that and, and they know that it's a process and, and uh, just trying to mesh the, you know, the newcomers with, with our returners. Uh, is that seven's a lot. Some teams, you know, have one or two players back, but how, how do you best do that? Let's get these, these returning players. How do you mesh them? Is it just the time they spend in practice time away from basketball? How do you see that growth of becoming a unit? How's that happen? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, of course, you know, during the summers, we try to spend a lot of time with our players off the floor and doing different things and, uh, you know, that letting them get to know each other personally. And, and then on the floor, you know, you, when you're running motion offense, you, you don't tell them, you know, Hey, you're going to run to this spot. You're going to run to this spot. I mean, they, they have to sort of understand, you know, that, that we do these different things in motion offense and they have to learn how to play together. So that takes a little time and, and it takes a lot of patience as far as the coaches. A lot of people don't run motion offense because they don't have the patience. So playing off those questions, where has this team made the biggest progress since the, the summer, like till right now? I, I would say with our motion, you know, we, we put in several parts of it and uh, they are, you know, they're responded really well and, and doing some things that, you know, that we're going to expect them to do as the season goes on. I mean, we've got a long ways to go. We've got several different things we've got to, we got to get in, but, but definitely the, the motion offense has probably been, you know, they're one of the things that they spent a lot of time with. Tell us about your schedule. And it's uh, as always, it is not an easy schedule and there's lots of big names on there and just uh, some of those non-conference opportunities your team has. Yeah. We, we always try to challenge our team. I mean, we're, we're going to, you know, one of the things that coach Foley taught me is, you know, your team's going to learn, uh, during the non-conference season more than any. And, uh, you know, uh, playing some of those schools that we play, we're definitely going to, you know, get get a, a a big learning experience. I mean, we, we, we've got four Power Five schools in a row after we open up with uh, Central Baptist College, our opening game. So uh, we've got Arkansas here, and then we go to uh, uh, Auburn, and then we've got Missouri and then Kansas State, or Kansas State first and then Missouri. So we got those four back to back and and that definitely will, will be a challenge for our team. But we're looking forward to it. I think we'll we'll learn a lot about ourselves and uh, and definitely help us prepare for the conference season. So what what did you learn about the OVC? Now, this is year three. So you're all the newbies still a little bit. Uh, um, what did and what did you learn? What do you expect this year's version of the OVC to look like? Well, I, I think it's going to be really competitive. One of the things that I've learned, you know, over the last two years, just being in the conference, it's a uh, uh, a lot of good shooters, a lot of good individual players in this conference that uh, uh, that teams have. And, you know, there's a lot of good coaches that do a really good job. So, you know, it, it, it's I, I think it'll be really competitive from top to bottom. I think, you know, with this, honestly, with this, you know, day and time of recruiting, you know, you never know what to expect, you know, from each team. I mean, each team may be totally different this year, but, you know, I, I expect it to be really competitive from top to bottom. And, you know, several new coaches in the league too, and what you just said about, you never know, um, you know, last year, USI was a team that, or two years ago where they were not in the tournament, then they won the regular season tournament. A, I'm not saying it's easy, but it seems like nowadays you could go from seventh, eighth to first or second more readily than you could in the past. Am I wrong about that? No, I, I totally agree. I mean, you you can, you know, get the right mix of players and all of a sudden have have one of the top teams in the conference and things go your way, you, you'll be able to win a championship. And so I, I, I totally agree. It, it would be a lot easier to do that now than it would, you know, maybe five years ago. Have you, has your team found, you know, when in the Sun Belt, you had your natural rivals, Arkansas State, obviously, was right down the road. Have you found new rivals in OVC yet? Is that I know it takes time and you got to have some competition back and forth, but have you all found that or still identifying what those are? I guess? Oh, I, I think, you know, we've had some really good games against Tennessee Martin, which is, you know, four hours down the road from us, which is a local school. So, you know, I, I, I would think that, uh, 
uh, you know, that they're sort of developing into it. But I think that takes a little bit of time. I mean, we we haven't played many of the teams in the OVC, you know, before we got in the conference. So I think those rivalries will build, you know, the longer that we were in the conference. So you've been around uh, Little Rock a long time. What makes the the city, the school, the community, all of that, what makes it special? Why do you want to be there? And, and why is it so fun to be a part of well, I, I think one of the things that's real special here about our program is that, uh, you know, since Coach Foley's been here, which was 22 years ago when when we first got here, is that we built this program from the ground up. I mean, we uh, this new facility that we have, the Jack Stevens Center, uh, we moved into it, I think, on the second year uh, that we that we got here. And, and so... Uh, Building the program from the ground up and just seeing all the success that we've had is is something that's very special to me. And probably the thing I most enjoy about coaching is just the relationships that I've built with players. Uh, you know, I got a call today from uh, some company asking me about one of our former players that was here three or four years ago that, you know, she was interviewing for a position. And, and I just really enjoy that, seeing the success that – that some of those young ladies are having right now. Let's talk about success on the court then. What one thing does your team need to do between now and March to be in contention to win the OVC championship? I would think there's two things. I think rebounding and taking care of the basketball is two things. If if we can continue to get better at those two things, I think I think we'll be a good basketball team. Before we transition to to Shug, I want to just ask ask you about her and what specifically what she's done for your team. And uh, before we bring her on to ask uh, answer some questions, well, Shug, this is her second year in our program, so got to know her last year. But uh, Shug is the type of player that I can say that that makes her teammates better, and it's something that I think is a great trait to have as a basketball player. Uh, she can create for other people, you know, not only for herself, but she can create for other people, uh, does a great job rebounding. One of the things I just mentioned, I think she brings that to our team and, uh, you know, just, just her leadership, uh, on and off the floor is, is going to be something that I, I really expect her to excel in this year and, and to help us, you know, become a winning team. I thought of one more than since you said rebounding again, too. You all, I've noticed in your short time in the league, your guards rebound great, and you said you emphasize that. How hard is it to get, you know, maybe your guards to rebound? If, maybe if they're not used to that before they come to your program, but it seems like your team does that really well. Yeah, and and I think a lot of that is because of our offense, our motion offense. Everybody ends up in different positions. We're not just, you know, having a, a point guard have the ball at the top, and that's where they stay. Our point guard may end up being on the baseline and things, so – you know, having players that are really versatile uh, really helps us. And and Shug is a great example of that. Like I said, she's a great rebounder, but, you know, a lot of times she may end up in the paint, you know, in our offense. So it gives her an opportunity to do that. Well, coach, we appreciate your time this morning and just best of luck to you as you're in your first year as head coach and, and to you and your team all season long. Thank you. I appreciate it.